I'd first like to extend my condolences to all of those families uh, who have now been told that their loved ones have lost their lives. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, is going to be a regular feature uh, of these uh, conferences for some days to come. Uh, and at an appropriate time, the names of those who have been recovered uh, and have deceased will be released. The search and rescue operation that's out there at the moment uh, has some 600 uh, people out in the field uh, helping us with the uh, difficulty of recovering those, uh, those persons who are, who are trapped out there. The, uh, I guess the immediate challenge for a lot of people beyond uh, lack of accommodation, uh, beyond uh, the lack of facilities that they need will be the fact that the city is going to be uh, in mourning for quite some time as we deal with the deaths of uh, so many of our, our fellow citizens. Christchurch is a place where the connections between two people are not too far distant. And so uh, even those who come from other countries will have made friends here. They will have visited uh, families uh, and, and uh, enjoyed recreation with many of our citizens. And so that uh, sense of loss is going to be very, very deep in our, our community and probably not uh, fully comprehended just at this point. Um, um, I think it's worth my while mentioning that we have a huge medical team here in the city dealing with some pretty awful uh, uh, stuff. Um, and you know, while they, uh, there is a celebration that many people have survived uh, the earthquake, there are many others, uh, hundreds in fact, who have survived with pretty horrific injuries and have been reliant on uh, very good quality medical uh, service available to them. So I, I want to. Thank particularly uh, the, the many doctors, nurses, and other medical staff uh, who've engaged in that activity. Um, and uh, it's expected that the state of emergency that we're currently in is going to continue for some weeks um, as we get a better picture of exactly what is going to be required to make the centre of the city safe uh, and to get a, a better understanding of the damage in our residential areas. The, um, the earthquake of the 4th of September challenged us a great deal and as a consequence of that we have a number of things in place that will be useful uh, in dealing with what now has become a much bigger event. Uh, our EQC, which is uh, the uh, state-run insurance company that uh, deals with uh, earthquake damage to land uh, and the first $100,000 worth of damage to uh, residential buildings had 181,000 claims uh, at the, uh, as a result of that event. Uh, it's expected that there will be a further 130,000 claims coming out of this event, uh, making this one of the biggest insurance events uh, in the world, certainly probably the biggest for 2011. Uh, and uh, we hope it is anyway. I hope no one else suffers this sort of thing.